welcome back to the channel. I'm Michelle. And I'm Ken, and today we're here to talk about and review Terrifier 2. Are you yes. ready? You ready to talk about Art the Clown? I am ready. So this has been a review um, a long time coming. We've, yep. we've had several people want us to watch this and review it, and so we did it, and we're here to talk about it right now in this Would video. Would you say it's our most anticipated review of all time on this channel? <laughs> it might be. It could be. It um, might be. But yeah, Terrifier 2, this is directed by Damien Leone, who wrote and directed. He also wrote and directed the first Terrifier movie, so this is kind yeah. of like his baby, his, his new horror franchise right. that he's trying to make a thing. And uh, yeah, we're going to give our thoughts on this movie, but before we do that, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you're new to the channel, we talk about movies and TV and entertainment and all that good stuff. So if you like that kind of stuff, hit the subscribe button and then, uh, you know, make sure you like the video as well. Like the video. Liking videos are is important. And then be sure to leave us a comment down below. Did you like Terrifier 2? Did you dig it? I feel like a lot of people really like this movie. This is another case. They there's a lot uh, of art surprise, things. surprise of the horror community just really getting behind a horror movie, a new horror movie, yeah. and just hyping it to the moon. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, did it deliver for us? We're, we're going to talk about it. Where do you want to start? Um, I mean, yeah, just a little backstory. I have not seen the first uh, Terrifier. Yes. Uh, you have? I have seen the first Terrifier. I actually watched it back, I think I watched it around the same time it came out, back in 2017, 2018. Gotcha. I think it was on Netflix or something. Okay. And uh, I gave it a watch on there. Yeah, so I had not seen the first one, but I feel like, you know, like you were saying, uh, Art the Clown has definitely, you know, made his way uh, to popularity, I feel like. And so I had, you know... I was a little somewhat, bit of a horror icon at this point, yeah. I would say. I was, you know, familiar with him. And plus, I had, you had told me about the movie as well. Yeah. When you watched it, because it is it, It's famous so for there. the infamous splits right. scene. Where yeah. He splits the girl in half. But it was one of those movies, though, I watched it. And it, it the first one was hyped a little bit, too. And I was like, yeah, it's, it's okay. Uh, and when I heard, when I, I've been hearing about Terrifier 2 for like four years. And I was like, I don't really care to even see another one. Mm -hmm. uh, so, But I mean, the first one's okay. It is what it is. Gotcha. Yeah. So, had not seen the first one. Uh, but I feel like, I don't know, you said that you felt like it was important to watch the first one. I After watching this, I will say, I didn't know. Because the first one really is a nothing story. But there are like elements and things about it that they introduce. Mm -hmm. And it feels like they continue. Like I remember a lot of stuff that's in this movie from the first movie. So this feels like a like direct continuation of a lot of stuff that was set up in the first one. Yeah. So I would have liked to have gone back and watched the first one. Now watching the second because I feel like I need to. There was some stuff that didn't come together for me gotcha. um, in this one. Some stuff I felt like I was missing. Gotcha. Um, well, I feel like for me, I feel like you can kind of piece it together. You can. Uh, anyway, and I, for the parts that were confusing in this movie, I feel like um, it wasn't because like it explained it in the first one because the 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 new girl that we have in this one yeah. the main character it's whatever, a different girl it's a different yeah. girl and so it's i don't mainly, feel like that they talked about her it's mainly like that mangled face girl and the news right. reporter that was a part of the first film so i would have liked to have seen how that connected because i honestly i i remember the face because it's like disgusting and just like really memorable but I don't remember, like, what part that played in the first one, even though I know it played a part. You know, if you haven't seen the first one, I still feel like you could watch this one without having seen the first. Yeah, probably. And you'll like still the, be fine. The details are very small. I feel like at the end of the day, this movie is not here to necessar necessarily tell a story, a good story. Um, I feel like it's just here for the sh the, the gore, you know? Yeah. That, that's, well... Here's what I'll say to that is, yes, it is here for the gore, but I do feel like, and that's reflected in the two hour and 17 minute runtime, mm -hmm. I feel like they are trying to tell a story. Mm -hmm. um, they do introduce a lot of like story elements into this one that wasn't present in the first one. Whether it all works or not is, is up for debate, but I do feel like they're trying to push more character and more story into this one uh, than they did the first one. Right, and I think that that... Like, for me, it didn't work that they were yeah. pushing uh, the story that they were and, like, taking their time with the character development and stuff because I feel like when you look at a film like this and you know how over the top it is, like, that's just all I can see. And so I can't, 
necessarily even take it seriously. Yeah, because that's the gimmick. That's the selling point. So right. they're introducing all these. So and it's, and it's that's really, it's up for debate. It's like, do you want a lot of story in a movie like this that's really just all about the fun and all about the gore? Right. Uh, did that add anything for you? And I think for most people, it did. For me, I think they could have cut out about a half hour out of this oh, movie easily. and made it a little tighter, a little easily. bit, uh, you know, a little bit better pace. Yeah. Um, you know, it could have flowed a lot better, I think. And, and you know, I, I don't know. I just think that it, it doesn't even really feel like it gets going until about 30 minutes in. There were just a lot of, you know, scenes that were just super dragged out, you know, with dialogue and stuff. And um, I just think that they could have done without that. But yeah, and there's just, like, so there's just a lot of elements in this movie. And I, I don't want to spoil it if you haven't seen it, but I'm just, I'm just confused about a lot of things. They're, they're obviously, maybe you consider this a spoiler, maybe you don't. They obviously introduced some some supernatural elements into mm -hmm. this movie, and those were not present um, in the first one. Gotcha. Um, so that was a little confusing as far as like what's what's real, what's not, like mm -hmm. what what's really happening here. I, I was confused uh, more often than not. Well, let's be honest, it film. doesn't take much to. It, it does not take much to confuse <laughs> me, but it was just very hard to yeah. follow. And I feel like for a movie like this, I shouldn't have that much trouble following. Right. Uh, along with the plot yeah. but well let's um i do so one of the positives that i want to talk about is that uh you were telling me that this film had like a two hundred and fifty thousand dollar budget oh yeah very a quarter of a million very cheap right and you know i was telling you right away without having known that um that i did feel like you know the set design um all the different you know sets that they had throughout the movie i felt like they were really great and like all of the practical effects like they yep. were they were you know obviously on point and very realistic looked great amazing um and so with such a low budget like that i kept asking you i'm like how how are they able to yes. to get away with that how were they successful with that it's crazy yes very very impressed by damien leone in this movie i think yeah. this is a well shot movie i think the movie looks good yeah you can tell a little bit it looks a little low budget mm -hmm. um and parts but like you said the set designs is is, is amazing mm -hmm. and the effects are incredible so I think that they definitely made good. This is an example. Uh, like there's horror movies that are made for $20 million that just suck. Right. <laughs> that just absolutely suck. Yeah. And, you know, the fact that he could make such good use of the money that he had just goes to show you that you don't need millions of dollars to make um, a good movie that connects to people. Right. And, and I think he pulled that off here. Also something to do, you know, you're talking about the, it like there were some parts that looked like a little low budget or whatever. Yeah. What did you think about the look of the film in general? Like to me, it almost looked like an eighties movie or something. It did. And I think that was intentional. Okay. They, yeah. I was wondering like, was that intentional or was it because of the lower quality of, he may have shot this on actual film though, because uh, you know, 32 millimeter, maybe 16 millimeter, because it looked very mm -hmm. grainy, like an old school, like eighties, uh, 70s, 80s, 90s horror film. Yeah, and something that I noticed right away too was like the 80s, um, the 80s score like throughout. Like oh, yeah. it just had a very, what did you call it? It's that synth, that synth wave. Yeah, you know, it that just old school, had like John Carpenter, you know, the feeling sound. Yeah, it just had an 80s, 80s vibe to me. Um, yeah, and I mean, and even down to, you know, the performances, which I think you can look at this on a surface level and just be like, most of these actors just aren't very good. Mm -hmm. But you look back at some of the 80s, 90s, like slasher films, these, the characters in this movie and the performances felt completely in line with the performances of like the 80s, 90s slasher films. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, so I, I think mean, that that was also, again, he's not hiring the best actors. He can't afford it with a $250,000 right. budget. Uh, so, so most people in horror movies are nobodies anyway, so. Yeah, but, and I'm not saying anybody in this movie is like particularly bad. I thought everybody was adequate enough. So yeah, I mean, usually I am not into that kind of 80s, uh, corny acting, you know, just yeah. like, I guess, low budget acting or whatever. Um, but this honestly, nobody really bothered me except for the, uh, the brother, yeah, yeah, and even him, like, he reminded me, he honestly reminded me of the brother from Beethoven. Uh, so he he kind of reminded me of, like, an older, like, old school, like, 80s, 90s, like, brother. Yeah. Um, and I don't know when this, like, I guess, I mean, they had cell phones, right? 
They had cell yeah, phones. They did. Okay, so I, I almost it almost felt like a movie that took place in the eighties, right? And nineties and parts. So, but yeah, but again, it was a, it was a modern times. But yeah. Uh, so, what did you think? Uh, let's talk about Art the Clown. Uh, would you hold him up on a pedestal next to Pennywise at this point? Do you think that he overtook him? Uh, did he scare you? I guess is what I I'm mean, trying to ask. Pennywise is definitely scarier. Okay. To me, Art the Clown is kind of almost comical. He is. Um, you know, he's just very goofy with his, you know, like murdering someone and then just being like. <laughs> I did think that the bit with him putting the glasses on, that was kind it was, of funny. I was, was laughing. I, I honestly was. So yep. there definitely was a little like uh Com comedic. And the, the actor's comedic name elements. is uh, David Howard Thornton, um, who plays Art the Clown. Now, I think he, I think he did a good job. I think he did yeah. a good job for this, you know, type of performance. Um, so yeah, I, it, Art, the, Art the Clown works for me. Yeah, I, you know, he works for me. He's definitely not as scary as Pennywise, right? No, I yeah I don't I don't it's a, think it's I a was. It's a different kind of scary. There was definitely some tension in this movie where I felt you know nervous for some of the characters, mm -hmm. and you should honestly be nervous for everybody in this movie, mm -hmm. uh, the directions it goes. Um, so there's definitely some tension there, but I was never scared. Right. Watching this movie. Right. Um, you know he didn't you know, like freak me out or anything in that way. Right. Uh, he he does have an eerie look to him. I think I think the makeup is great. Um, so this, uh, let's get into the actual thing, the selling point of this movie for a lot of people. And that's the gore. Mm -hmm. Very extreme, uh, gore in this film. What, yeah. what did you think of it? As somebody that doesn't watch a lot of this type of stuff. Right. I um, mean, yeah, I normally don't like that type of horror. Yeah. Uh, I guess more, the more slasher type of horror movies. Um, but I don't know. It was because this one was just so over the top, I was yeah. able to just like turn off my sensitivity to it, I guess. And just... It desensitized you. Now you can watch a Friday the 13th movie like it's nothing. <laughs> right. I I don't know. I guess I was just able to be like, this is just so yeah. Like it didn't, it didn't look that... fake. No, um, it didn't. It also like didn't look said, super realistic. But only because they were doing things that's like, can they, could you actually do that to a person? Oh, yeah. Uh, but yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I, um, you know, it was definitely gory and, um, but I, I honestly don't feel like the kills were all that cool or anything. No, and that's, that's it the was, point that I was going to bring up is, yeah. you know, back in the day, you know, in the old school slasher movies, you had kills that you could just easily identify. Right. Um, like, you know, the guy got beheaded or something or a machete across the face or, yeah. or something like that. This one is that. just kind of him just like mutilating people. Just taking it so far that it takes you out of the moment, in my opinion. And I was not a big fan of the gore, not because it's like... I'm a sissy or something. I can't yeah, handle it. Right. It just, that's not the type of stuff that I like to see in my horror movies. I don't like them to show everything, you know, don't, mm -hmm. don't show it all. Leave something to the imagination. Like maybe show me the beginning and then show me the aftermath and let me put the pieces together. Mm -hmm. This movie just shows you everything. And yeah. some people that may be their bag. Some people may like that they went that extreme, but that was my main problem with the movie. Mm -hmm. Is I just uh, I don't know I just I I miss the like old school slasher movies that just you know they give you that quick moment where the person dies and then they go to the next scene. Well, I always I don't need it drawn out for five minutes. I guess is what I'm saying. Yeah, I mean I've always hated that too, where they kind of just like keep going for it or and whatever. It's very extreme. If you're like, squeamish at all about this kind of stuff, like I would not recommend this movie at all. Right, which I normally don't like that kind of stuff, like we said, yeah. but yeah, like, you know, when you, for me, when I think about a slasher film, you know, you're, I feel like you're usually able to, ident like, identify each kill. Yeah. Like, oh, this person, like you said, got their head cut off, or this person, you know, died by a baseball bat, or you know, like there's like distinct things that yeah, and that's, they that's make part their of the death fun stand for out. Me, like when I'm watching a movie. But for this one, for him, it was just kind of like he would just basically just beat everybody just into just beat them and maul them to death until they're mush. Yeah, <laughs> or and 
And so, I don't know. It just... It just um, takes away from it. It does the opposite effect of, I think, of what they want. Yeah, it just um, made it a For me, less... personally. Like, this is a... Yeah, it's just me personally. But I know some people probably like this kind of stuff. I don't know. Yeah. So, anyway. I don't know. Is, did you have anything else you wanted to talk about? Uh, I'm pretty sure that's it. Like I said, the, the story goes in a lot. I need to... I'll probably want to rewatch the first one and this one again at some point. He's supposed to make a three and a four. Like, this is supposed to be an ongoing franchise. Okay. It ends very strangely and also kind of abruptly mm -hmm. um as well so i don't i don't really know how to put all the pieces together with everything by the time we get to the end of this movie yeah uh story wise it's it's fine i mean i like how they bring in the family dynamic and they try to connect that to art in some way but there's just a lot of missing pieces there for me that mm -hmm. uh, you know maybe they'll answer in the sequel right but, yeah they may um overall i i like the movie mm -hmm. i like it i what like it you, just fine what would you give it I'll give it a 3.5 out of 5. I like it just fine. It's not one of my favorite horror movies of the past, like, five years. Mm -hmm. I get people love it. I get it. It goes to the extreme. For me, it's 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 not necessarily my cup of tea. It's not my kind of horror movie. Uh, yeah. But I do recognize or appreciate some of the things that it did. So I, I liked it okay. 3.5. Gotcha. Yeah, I mean, I hate to do it, but I'd probably give it a 3. Point, or not a 3.5. A 3 out of 5. Okay. And, I mean, that's that's a pretty good score, honestly, for you, not being a huge fan of these type of yeah, movies. Yeah, I so. mean, I feel like, you know, three out of five is fair. And again, you cannot discount or discredit, like, the movie was made for $250,000. Like, right. what he was able to do with that money is incredible. Yeah. So, and it made $10 million at the box office. Yeah, and, like, um, how, you know, everybody was talking about it, yeah. and so. Yeah, he, he, they got something here with old Art the Clown, but, yep. uh, yeah. We appreciate you watching our review of Terrifier 2. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, comment your thoughts down below. I'm sure you got some thoughts on Terrifier 2 if you've yeah. seen it. And uh, follow us on our social media accounts down below. And we'll see you next time. Bye.